Hello everyone, welcome to the June 2023 net worth review. The net worth for June is $405,381.21. I'm really happy to be back in the 400s. I did take a dip last month in May because I did have to put down a pretty big deposit for the home that I'm planning to buy this year, but let's take it from the top. My Bank of America check-in balance in May was $4,308. For June, the balance is $3,653.66. So that is a difference of $654.94. So that was a decrease. Now, the reason for this is because at the end of the month, I'm reconciling all of my expenses. Well, I reconcile all of my expenses on an ongoing basis, but at the end of the month, there's like this transition where I'm paying up the last of the June bills to get ready for July. So there's always going to be fluctuations in this checking account because I use this account to pay for everyday life exp expenses for myself and my daughter. Moving on to my Bank of America savings account, in May the balance was $4,435 and in June the balance is $2,032.01. So that's a decrease of $2,403.55. This savings account at Bank of America, I had to pull a pretty big chunk from it because when I submitted my board application, because I'm in the process of buying a co-op slash home, and I had to submit my board application, which was, by the way, 937 pages long, I had to pay a slew of money in terms of application fee, background check fee, credit check fee, move-in deposit fee, carpet deposit fee. So all of that shenanigans was a couple thousand dollars. <laughs> So that's why there was a big drop there. And yes. So Ally Bank, um, I'm, I have the high yield savings account. Balance in May was $80,315. The balance in June is $80,245.32. So that's a decrease of $70.57. Now, I did pull... $325 from my Ally Bank savings to put into my daughter's 20, 529 plan. The Ally savings account, you can create different buckets. So this $80,000 balance, it's made up of different buckets. The majority of it, I'm talking like $71,000 of it is for my home buying process. So once I get to closing, right, I'll have to put down more money in terms of, um, you know, putting down that 25% down payment, plus I have closing costs. So the money's just sitting there until I get to closing to pay out that those funds. And then there's about $1,500 that's for my daughter's, like, check-in account. I use it. That's just the account or the bucket that I use to pay for all of her expenses, so watch the 529 video, but I pulled $325 from her um, checking account or bucket in the Ally Bank savings to invest in her 529. But if you're wondering, well, why didn't it increase 325? Well, that's because I do get a monthly interest payment in the high yield savings account, and it was about $250. So it just sort of... Um, brought it down so that the balance is a difference of, of $70. Okay, moving on to the 401k. Okay, 401k, I am just so happy, 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 happy to see this increase. So in May, 401k balance is $181.21. And then in June, it's $194.814.86. So that's an increase of $13,792.90. Now, keep in mind, I only put in for the month of June $1,900 into 
my four actually is one thousand eight hundred and thirty two dollars, not nineteen hundred dollars monthly into my four one K. And at that amount, I'm on track to max it out by September. So the difference is growth in the market. I haven't that that's all I put in per month. Um so yes, it's it's growth in the market, which is absolutely fantastic because this 401k balance has been a struggling struggling <laughs> for over a year i've been in like that 145 148 range and i'm just now seeing some gains on it so it's really exciting to i'm hoping by the end of the year i could be in the 200s on my 401k all right let's move over to the roth ira in May, the balance was $23,093.79. For June, it is $24,546.28. So that's a difference of $1,452.49. So I am finally, finally, after over a year in the green in my Roth IRA, because to date, I've actually contributed $23,630 into my Roth IRA. So I've just been in the loss on this account. So I'm finally seeing some green and I hope it just continues because, you know, the Roth IRA is a really great account because even though the money goes in post-tax, the growth on that money in there is tax-free. So I need, I need this account to actually grow. So I was really happy about that. And then the brokerage account in May, the balance was $53,749. In June, it is $63,610.06. So that's an increase of $9,860.42. This is mostly my deposit because my brokerage account is still in the red overall. So I haven't actually made any money off of it. So any type of increase, that's just deposits that I'm putting in. And I am working to aggressively invest in my brokerage account because this will be the bridge account for when I retire early um, until I can get access to my retirement accounts at my at the required retirement age. So I'm just trying to build this account to as high of a balance as I humanly possibly can. But really happy it's now in the 60s and we'll see we'll see when it breaks six figures um we'll see hsa the balance on the hsa in may was eleven thousand six hundred and thirty three dollars and fifty eight cents in june it's twelve thousand eight hundred and fifty two dollars and seventy two cents so that's an increase of one thousand two hundred and nineteen dollars and fourteen cents the HSA, I put in about $540 a month into it. So I am on track to max it out, but there's been growth in the market and just loving, loving that it's now in the 12s, very close to being 13,000 plus. So we'll see where this HSA balance lands. But, you know, the HSA has that triple tax advantage where the money goes in pre-tax and then it grows tax-free and then when you withdraw it for qualified medical expenses um, it's tax-free as well so I look at the HSA as my daughter and I's you know additional uh, investment account for all of our future medical expenses unfortunately we are humans and fragile so medical expenses is something that you can almost guarantee will be coming your way but I'm using this as an investment account, so any medical bills or expenses that come my way, I just cash flow it. I don't pull from my HSA. This I just keep invested for, again, long, long-term medical expenses for my daughter and I, um, more so in my like early retirement. And then 529 the balance in May was $20,958, and in June it was $23,626.30. So I'm just so happy about this. So that's an increase of $2,668.17. So I did put a decent amount of money this month into the 529. So that's where 
um, that difference is coming from. But also there's been growth in the market, which is fantastic. So all of my assets add up to $405, $405, $381.21. I don't have any debt, but here you see I have like the mortgage line item because at some point in this year, I will be um, having a mortgage balance here uh, under liabilities and that will be my only debt. And then under assets, I will have the, the value of my home there. So the change from may to june was twenty five thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars and six cents which is just so awesome and so amazing so that's that's it for the month of june i'm really we're halfway through the year so we'll see where i land come the end of the year but i'm really excited about this journey okay hope you enjoyed the video and i will catch you in the july's net worth video Bye.